muscles of the back of the thigh. Now, in the posterior compartment, there are two groups, right? So, in the posterior compartment, we have discussed the muscles under two groups. What are these two groups of muscles? One we discussed is the muscles of the gluteal region. Okay. And other we discussed is the muscles of the back of the thigh. Muscles of the back of the thigh. So, we already discussed the muscles of gluteal region. Now, we shall focus on the muscles of back of the thigh. So, all these muscles of back of the thigh are called as hamstring muscles. Okay. So, all the muscles of back of the thigh are called as hamstring muscles. Okay. So, how many hamstring muscles we have got? We have got four hamstring muscles. So, let us see what are these four hamstring muscles. Okay. So, one, two, three as well as four. So, what are these four hamstring muscles? The first two muscles are one is half tendon, another one is called as half membrane. Half is called semi. So, semi tendinosus, semi membranosus. Okay. So, we have got semi tendinosus, we have got semi membranosus. Semi tendinosus as well as semi membranosus. Apart from that, we have got biceps femoris. As we have got biceps brachii in the upper limb, in the lower limb we have got biceps femoris. So, this biceps femoris also is having two important heads. One is called as the lateral head and the other one is called as the medial head, right? Biceps femoris, we have got two heads. One is called as a long head, another one is called as a short head, right? So, the long head of biceps, long head of biceps femoris, okay? And the last important part is adductor magnus also. But which adductor magnus? Ischial head of adductor magnus. Ischial head of adductor magnus. Okay. So, these are the four groups of muscles which we have. Okay. Now, so what is the important use of all these hamstring muscles is that the important features of all these hamstring muscles is that all of them they originate from the same place right. So all of them their origin is ischial tuberosity. Ischial tuberosity. So what do you mean by ischial tuberosity guys? You know we have got uh, ilium ischium and pubis right. For example if you take this bone this upper part is the iliac bone okay and after that this part which you can see, this is your pubic bone, right? So, superior ramus, middle ramus and inferior ramus of pubic bone. But here, this bone which you can see here, which I am holding it right now, right? So, this bone is your ischium. Now, this ischium has got two important parts which you have to know. You see this spine here, right? This spine is called as ischial spine, okay? And next here you see a tuberosity, it means a rough surface, you know? So, this rough surface is called as ischial tuberosity. So, all your muscles of the posterior compartment, back of the thigh, mainly these hamstring muscles, they originate from this region, this part, right? That is ischial tuberosity. So, they originate from ischial tuberosity. And second important thing is that regarding their nerve supply. So, regarding their nerve supply, one very important thing you need to know that all of them are innervated by sciatic nerve. So, I will tell you the nerves. Okay, regarding the nerves, I'll teach you. But before that, one small important picture I want to put you put here is that here they go. This nerve is sciatic nerve. So, this sciatic nerve divides into two branches. Okay, so one branch is called as the deep peroneal nerve, and this blue color branch which I'm drawing is called as a tibial nerve. So your all hamstring muscles are innervated by tibial nerve. So can I write it as tibial part of sciatic nerve? So, all of them are innervated by tibial part of sciatic nerve, tibial part of sciatic nerve. And third important thing is that what is the function? You know all the anterior group, anterior part of the thigh, anterior compartment of the thigh, all the muscles are responsible for extension of knee and flexion of hip. So, opposite will be the posterior compartment. So, posterior compartment will be what? Flexion of knee and extension of hip. Flexion of knee as well as extension of hip, right? So, these are the three important functions which you need to know. So, what are those three important functions? 
सो फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज ऑल ऑफ देम दे ऑरिजिनेट फ्रॉम द इशियल ट्यूबरासिटी और सेकेंड हो गया फ्रॉम द टिबियल पार्ट ऑफ द शायटिक नर्व एंड थर्ड इज फ्लेक्शन ऑफ द नी एंड एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द हिप ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स नाउ लेट एस सी फ्रॉम वेयर दे आर ऑरिजिनेटिंग लेट मी पुट ऑल दिस थिंग्स इन अ पिक्चर बट अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑरिजिन एंड इंसेशन आर नॉट एट ऑल आस्ड इन यूर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम राइट वॉट ऑल यू नीड टू नो इज द एक्शन ऑफ द मजल्स बट फॉर यूर डे टू डे क्लासेस राइट फॉर दैट थिंग इन एवी बी एस आई हैव टू टीच ऑरिजिन एंड इंसेशन ओवर हियर राइट सो लेट मी पुट अप ए पिक्चर फॉर यू लेट अस से आई एम ड्रॉइंग द एग्जैक्ट बोन ओके आई एम ड्रॉइंग द एग्जैक्ट बोन इन दिस वीव ओके इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट दिस वीव दिस इज द वीव वेयर आई एम ड्रॉइंग दिस बोन लाइक दिस नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी You see, this is the tuberosity over here, right? So this is the place. This is the place where your head of the femur will fit into. This is the place where your head of the femur will fit into. And all of you know that this is your femur bone. This is your femur bone. And all of you know that this is your obturator foramen, right? O F stands for obturator foramen. and this part is your pubic symphysis right so this part is your pubic symphysis right so i hope all of you are also drawing along with me right so that it would be easy for you so this is your pubic symphysis and down we have got both of our condyles like this and remember one thing right that at the tip here at the tip here you have got a small tubercle like this and this tubercle is called as adductor tubercle okay so this tubercle is called adductor tubercle and down here you have got your tibia bone this is your tibia bone and this is your fibula bone tibia as well as fibula so this is your tibia and this is your fibula bone okay now let us see from where these muscles are originating first of all what are the first two muscles semi tendinosus and semi membranosus right so let us say this muscle originating from this part see this yellow color shaded area is your ischial tuberosity this yellow color shaded area is your ischial tuberosity so from here the muscle which is coming out is semi membranosus just side to that another muscle that is coming is semi tendinosus so here semi membranosus semi tendinosus both of them are done now where are these both inserting semi membranosus and semi tendinosus they insert all the way to the medial side of the tibia okay so one muscle i am naming it as a and the other muscle i am naming it as b okay so i'll write the names later on so just remember semi membranosus semi tendinosus from the ischial tuberosity they are inserting to the medial side of the tibia ab ye ho gaya uske baad the next one we have got over here is that long head of biceps femoris so from where does this long head of biceps femoris start again from the ischial tuberosity so this long head of biceps femoris comes all the way right so this long head of biceps femoris comes all the way and attaches to the fibula here and it is attaching to the fibula so biceps femoris you told me it has got two heads one is called long head one is called as short head right so you are telling this is the long head of biceps femoris then where is the short head short head is not originating from the ischial tuberosity that is why we did not write here right so from where the short head of biceps femoris is originating short head of biceps femoris is originating from the femur itself okay so you know in the femur here we have got a line called linea aspera on the back posterior side let us say this is a posterior aspect okay so on the posterior side we have got a small line like this this line is called as linea aspera so from this linea aspera you from this linea aspera just lateral to this linea aspera lateral matlab just side okay so let us say for example this is your linea aspera okay so this line which you can see is your linea aspera this linea aspera is having two lips so let us say one out of these two one is called as a lateral lip one is called as the medial lip so just from the lateral lip of linea aspera so let me write it down from the lateral lip of linea aspera a muscle is coming and this this head is called as the short head 
okay this is called as a short head and where it is inserting the short head and long head both of them join together to form a conjoint tendon hai na both of the tendons they join together and they insert at a common point that is to the fibula okay so from the lateral lip of linea aspira so what will happen is that both of them join together to form a conjoint tendon conjoint tendon so just write it down that this is the long head this is the short head okay so after that we have got ischial head of adductor magnus so from where it will arise dekho so obviously it should also arise from this ischial tuberosity right and where it is inserting it inserts all the way to the adductor tubercle over here i told you this tubercle is called as adductor tubercle so it is inserting to the adductor tubercle so let me name it as c okay so the muscle a over here is your semi membranosus muscle b over here is your semi tendinosus and muscle c over here is your which is attaching to the adductor tubercle that is your ischial head of adductor magnus ischial head of adductor magnus and obviously the lh and sh are the long head and the short head of let us write it as d of the biceps femoris biceps femoris right so these are all the back of the thigh muscles that is the hamstring muscles which we see here right so these are all the hamstring muscles which you need to know 